Hi, I'm Vikram and welcome back to a roll of film. Today in this video, we will have a look at one of the Fujikas. Uh, the Fujika AZ-1. Now the Fujikas was manufactured by the Fuji Film Company, which was founded in Japan in the year 1934. They started by producing photographic films, something for which they are still quite well known. In fact, uh, Fuji Film is one of the better known and excellent uh, film stocks, which we shall uh, look at a little later uh, in, some, in another video. In, in the 1940s, uh, the Fuji Film Company started manufacturing optical glass for the war, Japanese war effort. And uh, after the Second World War, in 1948, they, got, they started manufacturing cameras and under the brand name Fuji Ka, which is actually a combination of two words, Fuji and camera, Fuji Ka. Actually, this is a route that uh, many companies took at that time. Like for example, the Yashika, the Yashi camera, Yashika, and the Leica. So similarly, you had the Fuji and the camera, the Fuji camera, the Fuji Ka. The Fuji Ka AZ-1 was manufactured in 1978. Uh, it is a 35mm SLR camera. And it has, it is, in my opinion, one of the most aesthetically pleasing uh, Fuji cameras that I have seen. It has a beautiful black matte finished body. The whole body is a metal body and with these beautiful aluminium colored uh, trims. It also has these beautiful angular edges, giving it a very unique character. People uh, who are uh, uh, who shoot digital and are familiar with the Fuji film, especially the X series cameras, will recognize uh, will recognize the Fujika, the styling of the Fujika AZ-1. For the X series styling of the X series is takes its inspiration from these old Fuji cameras. This is a beautiful camera. I mean, it, the way it fits in my hand, it, it just feels so comfortable. It feels like an extension of my hand. It's not too high, not too long, not too broad, just, just perfect. Aesthetically, and like I said before, aesthetically, one of the most beautiful cameras I've ever had. And I, I really love just holding this and shooting this camera. It's, it's just, I mean, words fail me when it comes to this camera, when it comes to the looks of this camera. It's, it's just, just beautiful. The Fujika AZ-1 has a through the lens, center weighted, uh, Expo exposure exposure meter. Uh, it is an aper aperture preferred automatic mode, which means that you choose your aperture, and the camera will choose the shutter speed. Now this uh, system on this Fujika, this particular Fujika AZ-1, has a few constraints, a few restrictions, in the sense that you have only a few options. You have your normal exposure, the correct exposure. Then you have a one stop over and a two stop over. And similarly, you have a one stop below and a two stop below. So these are slightly uh, constraining. You only have one stop increments. You do not have any half stop or quarter stop in increments. Uh, when you, you look through the lens, you, shut your shut, uh, you set your shutter speed, look through the lens, half press your shutter, and in the viewfinder on the right hand side, the shutter speed which the camera chooses will light up. So you know exactly which shutter speed your, you, the camera is going to use. So accordingly, if required, uh, you can change your aperture if you require a faster or a slower shutter speed. And like I said, it's only one, one stop increments up to a maximum of two stops. If that is fine with you, then this is an excellent camera. Like I said, it has some constraints, but it, it, it hasn't failed me so far. Uh, the exposure meter in this camera is uh, powered by a 1.5 volt, by two 1.5 volt batteries, and uh, which slip in here. You just take a coin and sort of open this and just pop in your batteries. And this powers the, the exposure meter. It also powers uh, the shutter. We have two types of shutters here. One is an electronic shutter 
and the other is a mechanical shutter. So even if your but you run out of batteries or your battery dies on you, you can still use this camera because it has a mechanical shutter. The electronic shutter has shutter speeds of one from one is to two to one is to thousand. And uh, the mechanical shutter speeds, however, uh, again, rather restricted. You have the bulb mode, you have 60th of a second, which is also your uh, flash sync speed. You have 250th and you have a thousand. So you need to work within at basically three shutter speeds, 1000, 250 and 60th. But the advantage is that, you know, you, you can use this camera even without it, without, uh, without a battery. Uh, it, it comes with a M42 mount, screw top mount. This was one of the last Fuji cars that came with this mount. Now this mount uh, is... Uh, can cause a few problems in the sense that you don't have a really wide range of lenses that come with this mount. Uh, none of the modern day lenses come with this mount, but they are sufficient uh, lenses that come with this mount, including the standard lens on this camera, which is the Fujinon lenses. We all know, I'm sure you're all aware that the Fujinon is, uh, Fujinon lenses are second to none, excellent quality, and you can still get a lot of them on eBay. You also have a lot of third party manufacturers who make who make lenses with the M42 mount. You can get it in various makes, so it's really not a problem, but you need to strive a little, make a little bit of an effort to get hold of these, uh, these lenses. Uh, the camera that way, uh, if you see the controls, you have here your shutter speed uh, dial, which also acts uh, for your automatic exposures. Uh, you have here a small uh, window for your ASA setting. All you have to do is basically lift the outer ring and swizzle, swivel your swivel the knob for you to get to set your ASA setting for the film speed that you're using. You have the shutter here, which has a locking mechanism. There's lock, open, lock, open, and you have your film advance lever here. On this side of the camera, you have a self timer. You bring it down and then press the shutter. It'll come up. Takes about approximately eight seconds, I'm told. This here is your depth of field to see your depth of field, and this is the lens lens locking mechanism. On this side, uh, you have the uh, the cable for your flash, and on top you have the flash, uh, the horseshoe. Uh, you have this red red dot here is your shutter speed indicator. You have a small uh, window here which shows you uh, which, which shows you how many exposures you have left. And here is the film rewind lever. So basically, a very very simple basic camera with a few constraints when it comes to shutter speed. The focusing it has a the Fujika has a three way focusing system when you look through your your viewfinder uh, you have a split image you have a micro prism and you have the ground glass so all three while well, you're using all three uh, the focusing system is very very easy to use and extremely accurate I've had no problem uh, using this uh, system at all I've been shooting this camera uh, quite extensively in the past this particular Camera was a gift for my wife's uncle, and uh, in round about I think in two thousand seven or two thousand eight, around about that time, I used this extensively and almost actually exclusively for my wildlife work. I used to shoot at least twice a day. I used to shoot twice a day, uh, both in the morning and in the evening, consistently for over a year and a half, and I shot again only black and white. For my wildlife only black and white and uh, the results were excellent absolutely no uh, no complaints when it comes came to the uh, image quality recently i've uh, i've used this for a lot of street photography with both a 50 mm and a 28 mm and at this, this time i shot i shot in color i used a fuji film uh, c200 fuji color c200 and uh, the, the color renderation, uh, the sharpness, 
was second to none. Uh, as you can see in these photos. So as you can see, uh, the image quality is superb, absolutely no complaints and uh, this really is a beautiful, beautiful camera. Yes, it has some constraints, but if you can work within those constraints, I think it is excellent. In fact, I find that these constraints actually help you. It really helped me a lot uh, in the sense that I really had to push uh, my knowledge and my creativity right up to the edge of the envelope and it really paid off. It was a bit of a learning curve in the beginning, but then it was once I got my eye in, it was just superb, just really, really superb. And I couldn't really recommend this camera any less. It is a beautiful, beautiful camera. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like or comment. And uh, well, I'll see you next time. Thank you.